Brothers and sisters, keep in touch with your maker. You need him more desperately than anyone else. Wallahi, and I am serious. Keep in touch with your maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need him more than anyone else. So you have WhatsApp. Do you have the Quran on your phone? Do you have it? And subhanallah, people might say, well, if I do, how can I go to the toilet and so on? There are rulings issued by the ulama. I can very quickly make mention. If your application is open, you should not use that phone to go into the toilet. But you close the application, your screen is blank, meaning it is closed completely. You can go in, there's no harm. It is something digital. It's like a hafiz of the Quran. If he's reciting the Quran, he cannot walk into the loo, but he's quiet. The Quran is in his heart. He can go in and he must not waste time in the toilet. That's another beautiful teaching of Islam. When we go to the loo, we are not going there to have fun. You know, if you go into some loos, you see magazines, especially those in some places who play golf. I recall very clearly when I was a little bit younger, I entered one man's, you know, the loo in one man's home and on the top, you know, the shanks at the top, he had the rules of golf. And wallahi, you won't believe what I'm telling you, but some of you might have seen it because now they sell it on an international scale. They have a small golf green in the toilet, meaning a small little makeshift thing with a mini putter and a golf ball. And whilst you're sitting, you're busy putting. <laughs> whilst you're sitting, you're busy putting. I'm not joking. I'm honest with you. You can Google it and check it, but please don't buy it. <laughs> so they're putting. Why? Because they're wasting their time. We are taught as Muslims, you go to the loo, it is known as liqada il haja in order to finish your business. You go in there, you relieve yourself and you come out. There is a dua to read before you enter and as you exit. To ask Allah protection from the devil because we are taught that sometimes shaitan infests those areas. So you go in and you come out. Please don't play golf in the loo and stop reading magazines and all that in the toilet. I know so much so that last week someone sent me an image on WhatsApp and I must share this with you because I just remembered it now. And it showed a man sitting on a pan and he, he said, oh no, I forgot my phone. Do you know what that means? That means people have made it their business that before you go to the loo, look for your phone so that you can spend time. Now you're sitting on WhatsApp messaging people and so on. You know what happened to me a few weeks ago? I can't remember which airport it was, but there was a man speaking inside the toilet. I was waiting to come out and he's busy having a long conversation. And I, I, I wanted to tell him that, hey, finish up your business and get out. There's a queue here, man. And he was like, if you offered him coffee, he probably would have said, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> This is dangerous. I am the reason why I'm making mention of it. This is what is overtaking the globe at the moment. People are not understanding what their preferences are. And we were talking about developing a link with Allah. You need to get into the loo and come out of the loo. But remember something in the same way we get so excited when we have Skype, when we have WhatsApp, when we have so many other types of or other formats in Far East Asia, they have WeChat and they have Line and so on. All these different, you know, Tango and Viber and you name it, it's there. That is good. And mashallah, you, let's hope we are using it for something beneficial and good. But ask yourself, have I developed a small relation at least? with the one who made me. When I go back to him, everything else will remain behind. Everything else will remain behind. You know, we look for the latest phones and so on. Have you even used technology to get closer to Allah?